To help public officials better understand why the department needs certain things in its budget, the fire department and union teamed up to put on Fire Ops 101. Tonight, News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson shows us what it takes to be a firefighter. This is the third time for Fire Ops with the Fort Wayne Fire Department. I went through the very first one seven years ago, but this time the events were much different and more difficult, and we really got to experience how hard it can be to be a firefighter. It was intense. I got a whole new respect for these guys. We want you to experience it. We want you to have a knowledge of it. Fire Ops 101, an intense day, putting members of the media, elected officials, and community leaders through a day in the life of a firefighter. We were at the Union Hall when the call came in. Just like firefighters do every day, we geared up and rushed to the scene. Our destination, the department's training facility. 18 of us rotated through six different events. First up for me was learning about the ladder truck. One of the biggest keys here is getting this ladder placed in the right place at the first time. We then climbed up the 110 foot ladder. My helmet cam shows the journey. The key is to just focus on the rungs. At the top, we had to climb down another ladder to get to the roof. Then we rode in the bucket back down to the ground. Part of this exercise is to show how the ladder truck can go straight out too, not just up. That can be helpful in a variety of different types of rescues and fire and non-fire situations. Last year, the Fort Wayne Fire Department made nearly 30,000 runs. Around 30% were for rescue or medical calls. This is a daily routine for us. Uh, every day we make automobile accidents around the city. That's why the next evolution was extrication. Vital that we work together as a team. The task, stabilize the vehicle. Use very heavy, very powerful tools to pry off the door. Primary focus is always patient. Always, always, always patient. And rescue the driver. I want to give people the feeling of what it felt like to actually take a patient out of a vehicle, put them on a long spine board. We're responsible for moving medical equipment along with that. There's a lot more involved than just firefighting. You know, we do so many other aspects in the community. Whether it's a crash or a fire, firefighters wear protective gear. It's heavy and cumbersome and can take some getting used to, which brings us to the confidence course. It is uncomfortable. It is hard work. It is hard to move through tight spaces with this big bulky gear on. The goal, just keep getting through each obstacle. The tunnel made me pause, but with encouragement, I pushed on, struggling past down wires, wiggling through tiny holes. This simulates a uh, attic space. If you're going to be making decisions for those organizations, you should know what those organizations are, are asked to do. I've done a lot of training with the fire department over the years. This is the first time for the confidence course, and it was so much harder than I ever anticipated. It really, really shows how hard it is to be a firefighter. It's not a joke. I understand now better why they need a manpower or human capital because it just makes a difference for safety uh, for them as well as the people they're trying to save. When it comes to things like, well, why do we pay this much for physicals? Fire trucks are expensive. Why do we need two new fire trucks? And when you see what these folks go through every day, it's a terrific learning experience. And tomorrow, Alyssa continues her fire ops experience as she goes into a simulated structure fire and rescues a victim. Plus, see firsthand why smoke detectors are so important as we take our cameras into the flashover chamber. Don't miss part two tomorrow at 6.